Welcome to AEDT 4120, Serious Gaming and Simulations. Week 11, Assessment, Video Clip 1 of 3. I'm Professor Bill Kapralos, and over the next few minutes, I'll be providing an introduction to Serious Games and Assessment. However, prior to doing so, here's the list of analysis questions for this particular video clip. Number 1, what is Educational Assessment? Number 2, what are the two forms of assessment? And finally, number three, why is assessment of serious games important? Let's begin by looking at what educational assessment in general actually is. Well, according to the United States Higher Learning Commission, educational assessment of student learning is a participatory and iterative process that, one, provides data and information regarding students' learning, two, engages you and others in analyzing and using this data and information to confirm and improve teaching and learning, Three, it produces evidence that students are learning the intended outcomes. And finally, four, it evaluates whether changes made improve or impact student learning. And furthermore, it documents the learning and your efforts. Here's another view of educational assessment as provided by the University of Oregon Teaching Effectiveness Program. They view educational assessment as follows. The process of gathering and discussing information from multiple and diverse sources in order to develop a deep understanding of what students know, understand, and can do with their knowledge as a result of their educational experiences. The process culminates when assessment results are used to improve subsequent learning. Assessment and Serious Games Learning with Serious Games remains a goal-directed process that's aimed at clearly defined and measurable achievements. As a result, it must implement assessments to provide an indication of the learning progress and outcomes to both the learner and the instructor alike. Or to quote Chan and Michael in 2005, open quote, serious games, like every other tool of education, must be able to show that the necessary learning has occurred, end quote. For serious games to be considered a viable educational tool, they must therefore provide some means of testing and progress tracking. And this testing and tracking must be recognizable within the context of the education or the training that they are attempting to impart. Assessment describes the process of using data to demonstrate that the stated learning goals and objectives are actually being met. Furthermore, assessment is a complement to purpose, and it is typical for learning institutions, regardless of the teaching methods employed, whether or not their students actually learn. However, learning is a very complex construct, making it difficult to measure and determine whether a serious game is effective at achieving the intended learning goals. Or in other words, whether the serious game or the simulation has the desired effect. This is a complex and time-consuming and at times expensive process. Part of the inherent difficulty in measuring learning or in assessment stems from the open-ended nature inherent in video games, making it very difficult to collect data. Or in other words, how do you actually show that students are learning what they should learn? And furthermore, how do you know what you are measuring is what you think you are measuring? There are two forms of assessment. Assessment can be described as either summative, whereby the assessment is conducted at the end of the learning process and tests the overall achievements. Or it can be described as formative, whereby it is implemented and present throughout the entire learning process and continuously monitors progress and failures. With respect to serious games, it has been suggested that formative assessment is particularly useful and should be used particularly when we consider that such assessments can be incorporated into the serious game or the simulation becoming part of the experience. This brings us to the end of this particular video clip. And just to point out the reference of Michael and Chen, this was an article that appeared in Gamma Sutra, and it was titled Proof of Learning, Assessment, and Serious Games. I would strongly recommend you do take a look at it. It is available freely on the web. This also leads us to our list of synthesis questions. Number one, which form of assessment should be used with serious games? Explain. Number two, how can formative assessment be employed within a serious game? And finally, number three, how can summative assessment be employed within a serious game? This is the end of this video clip. Thank you.